passion What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hi guys and welcome back to another food shopping haul If you're new here I do these most weeks Anything food and shopping you will find on this channel We also do family vlogs as well So if you like that kind of thing make sure you go and subscribe So this week I got a delivery from Tesco again Because I have the delivery saver So it only cost me £1 a week to get my shopping like packed and delivered. But I am finding myself getting a little bit bored with Tesco. So I think next week I'm going to either go to Aldi or Lidl and see what they've got to offer. I do pop into Lidl quite a bit for like top up shops and things, but I haven't done a full shop there for a little while. So I think I'm gonna skip Tesco next week and head off to Aldi or Lidl. But without me waffling on any further, I will take you through what we've bought this week and I'll let you know how much it came to and our meal plan at the end. Right, so we'll start off with the fresh fruit and veg as usual. So I've got some fresh broccoli, I do use frozen if I'm putting it in a dish, but if we're just eating it as broccoli, if that makes sense on its own, then I buy fresh. I got an iceberg lettuce. There are four onions in here. I got some of these persimmons. These are normally, I think, one pound forty-five for three, and they were forty-five p for three. So I got two lots of those because the boys absolutely love them, and so do me and Steve. Two lots of these British Reuben's apples, crunchy and refreshing. I don't know, they were half price. These should be £2 for six and they were a pound. I also got two lots of the Tesco Finish British Red Potatoes. I'm going to be making a fish pie and a Nando style skin on mash. And red are really good for mash. And these were also on offer at better than half price. I think they may have been a pound a, pa a, pound a bag and they're the finest ones. So they should be quite nice. I got some red seedless grapes, some hot mixed chilies. What did I need those for? Oh, I'm going to be making um, macho peas to go down Nando, so I need fresh chilli for that. I got some conference pears. Again, this was on their offer of their fruit and veg this week, and these were really good value. Some carrots, because we go through loads and loads of carrots. So I've got two baby plum tomatoes. These were also on offer at 49p. Um, I got a cucumber, and I think that's... Oh, and some baby spinach. This is to go in a fish pie that I'm making. So that's all the fresh bits for now. Over the back there, I've just got a pork mince. This is the 12% fat one. And what I'm going to do with that is make some breakfast. Like, you know the McDonald's? What are they called? Sausage McMuffins. So I'm going to be making some of those for breakfast as a little treat at the weekend. I've got some breaded onion rings to go with um, these chicken wings. What I'm going to do is marinate these in, I'm not sure what yet, maybe some puri puri or tandoori, something like that. And then I'm going to put them in our air fryer. And they come out really, really crispy and nice without being like deep fried or anything so i'm gonna do like onion rings some of these and maybe some potato wedges or tortilla chips or something like that chicken thighs to go with our nandos that we're making this was five pound for a kilo so it'll get two meals at least out of this one cream fields which is tesco's like own make they've started to do halloumi now so this is cheaper than even tesco's halloumi i think this is one pound 40 and a tesco one for the same size is like two pound creme fraiche to go in the fish pie i got one pack of cheese strings because we've still got quite a few in the fridge a big coleslaw for sandwiches and salads two of these sandwich fillers there's a chicken and stuffing one and a chicken and bacon we're gonna have that in some tiger rolls for lunch i got my yogurts this week i remembered them so these are 12 for what were they three pound which is really really cheap for the corner ones these are the full size ones so I've got those. I'm going to be doing the boys some Subways for dinner one night. So I got some wafer thin honey roast ham, some wafer thin roast chicken, some pizza pepperoni slices, pork luncheon meat and cooked ham. This will also go for like packed lunches and things, but they can pick all the meats they want and make kind of like an Italian BMT or whatever kind of stuff they want. So when I'm filming this, it's actually Halloween and we are going to be having a little party. So I got a cheddar and bacon quiche and a goat's cheese and roasted red pepper one for to put out tonight. I got some extra mature Pilgrim's Choice. Again, this was on offer and about £2.50 instead of £4. I got some cream filled mild cheddar slices. This is for the Subways. And then I got some of the burger style slices as well because I can't remember what for now. Burgers probably, but we're not having burgers. But I got them for something. <laughs> I got some salsa because I also bought some tortilla chips for tonight. I got some roasted salted peanuts. 
some of these little wicked orange back shortbreads so i'll pop those out and also some mini gingerbread wicked biscuits they're in the shape of like pumpkins and bats and things they've got a fish pie mix this is four pound and it does a uh, fish pie big enough for the five of us which is really good I've got some of their cheapy cheapy pork sausages that I can just cook and pop onto like a plate cold or leave them in the fridge for snacks and things. Some hash browns to go with the McDonald's style breakfast I'm making. Mini popper doms and tortilla chips again for tonight. I've got two squash, one is orange and mango, one is orange, lemon and pineapple. These are a pound and it's the no added sugar double strength ones. Some peas for the fish pie. Oh, uh, no, peas are for the fish pie and for the macho peas that I'm making. I've got some sea salt and black pepper crisps as well to put out. I bought some broad beans. These are also going to go in the Nando style macho peas, um, along with the mint sauce, chilli and the other peas. And you kind of mush it all together and a bit of garlic and they're really, really good. I've got two lots of these part baked baguettes to go with a beef casserole that I'm making next week. Some tiger rolls, which we will put the filler, sandwich filler in, or like ham and coleslaw. We've got some mini tortilla wraps and some big ones for lunches. One loaf of thick toasty bread. I got 45 British eggs. Um, we're just going through so many, so I got 45 eggs. I got some Miss Molly's chocolate chip cereal bars and some of the chocolate and milk crispy bars for packed lunches. These are the rolls that I use for the homemade subways and they're semolina dusted and they really, when you put them, when you put them in the oven, like open and then close them afterwards, like they do at Subway, and they're really, really nice and they go really like a Subway. I've got a feeling the puppy's got something you shouldn't have. I've got some English muffins. These are for the um, McDonald's sandwich breakfasts, breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> I've got some strawberry fruit bakes, again, the Tesco own ones. They're just really good value. The sage and onion stuffing mix, I will mix some of this, this is like the herby one, I'll mix this in with the pork mince to make the sausage patties for our breakfast sandwiches. Some rice, I've got a Polynesian Spa Imperial Leather, this was 90p. I've got my favourite Radox bath salts, these are normally £5, this is the acai berry scent. Um, these were on offer at £2.50, so I bought one for me and I also bought one for my mum. Uh, four pints of semi-skimmed milk as usual. Then I got some Capri Sun, these are £2 for 10 and I just popped these in the kids lunch box. So I got two boxes of those. And then I think last but not least I bought some crunchy nut or honey nut cornflakes and they were a pound. And all of this came to just under £100, it was like £99.40. Yeah so I think I got quite a lot, there's a lot of meals there and some sort of more expensive meals, things that we wouldn't normally have like fish pie, the quiches. We wouldn't normally buy mince to make breakfast sandwiches. And we've got some party bits as well. So that is everything and I will now take you through my meal plan. Okay, so I have ordered a chalk pen for my menu planner. So next week I will be back to that. But for now I thought I'd add another title in. So I apologise for any background noise. I've got Siren on the floor with her bone and a puppy on my lap. But on Thursday we're going to be doing Halloween party food. Friday I'm going to be making the Nando's fake away with halloumi and macho peas. On Saturday I'm going to be doing air fried chicken wings, onion rings and I've decided to do slow cooker cheesy potatoes with that. On Sunday I'm going to be making a fish pie and I'll probably serve that with broccoli. On Monday I'm going to make a slow cooker paprika chicken with any leftover chicken thighs we've got. On Tuesday I'm going to be doing a tuna pasta bake and Wednesday I'm going to be doing a slow cooker beef casserole and rolls. I'm also in the process of filming some meals to do a slow cooker video, just some quick and simple things that you can dump in the slow cooker and leave on for the day, so keep an eye out for that one. So I hope you enjoyed that video, if you did please hit the like button and leave me a comment and let me know, I do love to hear from all of you and I will see you in our next video. This is what we waited for.